Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: 28 FBI agents are testifying against Clinton. They found everything. Hillary Clinton thought she would be president of the United States by now. She and former President Bill Clinton's disgusting past would have been wiped away like nothing ever happened. There's only one problem. Donald Trump was elected as the 45th POTUS. This sent Hillary into a frenzy. During the campaign, it was discovered that Hillary Clinton used her family's private email server for official communication during her time as United States Secretary of State instead of using the secured official State Department email. Not only did Hillary put the American people at risk, but also she put herself at risk. The question I've always asked is what if a terrorist got a hold of her private email server, and found out where she was going to be at next and had her, and Barack Obama a Cena ed? If this event would have ever happened, then the United States would look weak because our State Department as well as the FBI, CIA, and other agencies allowed her to operate out of her home. Bad PR is something the United States didn't need at the time. We later found out that over 100 classified emails were sent using the private server, and more than 2,000 emails that were not marked classified but were indeed confidential by the State Department. House Republicans are set to interview three witnesses in early June regarding the sham Hillary Clinton email investigation. According to The Hill, Bill Priestamp, the assistant director of the FBI's Counterintelligence Division, and Michael Steinbach, the former head of the FBI's National Security Division, will testify shortly after the release of the AG report. Bill Priestap was the FBI official who changed the wording in the James Comey July 2016 speech to remove the word president and replace it with another senior government official to hide this fact from the American public. The third witness is John Jocolony who preceded Steinbach as the Bureau's top national security official and oversaw the first seven months of the Clinton probe. The word is that Jocolony quit the FBI in protest over how the higher-ups were KG the investigation. Giacalone resigned from the Hillary Clinton case and retired from the FBI because he felt the case was going sideways, that's law enforcement jargon for nowhere by design. According to transcripts he shared with the D.C., one special agent said, it's a question of basic credibility, Congress, the executive, and oversight are not seen to have any gravitas or seriousness. The inmates have been running the asylum and they don't respect, much less fear, their overseers. We know we'll be hung out to dry, the agent added. And don't get me wrong, there are still a few good people scattered about, but Maine Justice and the bureaucrats are running the show, want to run out the clock on this administration, and keep the status quo. Another special agent, when asked about being subpoenaed, said, This is a great opportunity for senior or, soon to be retiring, guys, not for someone like me. It'd be SE. I hate to say it, but neither the judiciary nor the executive branch is wielding any kind of effective oversight right now, and the top managers know it. He continued, you still have a ton of bad people in place. Unless that changes, and I haven't seen any degree of seriousness on the part of ranking members nor staffers, I'm not meeting with anyone nor willing to be subpoenaed. I'm not coming forward until they get their act together. Right now, it'd be sacrificing a career for cheap political points. The DC has learned that the Bureau has already warned agents that the agency will come back viciously against all those behind destroying their narrative, and will go after their families and friends, too. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley defended the Whistleblower Protection Act he spearheaded after FBI agents insisted that only subpoenas would bring them forward to Congress. I've worked hard to strengthen legal protections, especially for FBI employees. You have a right to cooperate with congressional inquiries, just as you have a right to cooperate with the Inspector General. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. Senator Grassley's law does an appropriate job at protecting whistleblowers from unfair prosecution. But it is not prosecution that prevents agents from stepping forward, it is the possibility of going bankrupt from attorneys' fees when defending themselves against retaliatory legal actions by their agency. Another special agent, when asked about being subpoenaed, said, This is a great opportunity for senior or, soon to be retiring, guys, not for someone like me. It'd be SE. I hate to say it, but neither the judiciary nor the executive branch is wielding any kind of effective oversight right now, and the top managers know it. He continued, you still have a ton of bad people in place. Unless that changes, and I haven't seen any degree of seriousness on the part of ranking members nor staffers, I'm not meeting with anyone nor willing to be subpoenaed. I'm not coming forward until they get their act together. Right now, it'd be sacrificing a career for cheap political points.
The DC has learned that the Bureau has already warned agents that the agency will come back viciously against all those behind destroying their narrative, and will go after their families and friends, too. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley defended the Whistleblower Protection Act he spearheaded after FBI agents insisted that only subpoenas would bring them forward to Congress. I've worked hard to strengthen legal protections, especially for FBI employees. You have a right to cooperate with congressional inquiries, just as you have a right to cooperate with the Inspector General. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. Senator Grassley's law does an appropriate job at protecting whistleblowers from unfair prosecution. But it is not prosecution that prevents agents from stepping forward, it is the possibility of going bankrupt from attorneys' fees when defending themselves against retaliatory legal actions by their agency. For example, an FBI agent who came forward as a government whistleblower in 2013 told The Daily Caller he experienced personal humiliation, stress-related illnesses, and a huge financial loss, requiring my wife, who had undergone two CR surgeries, to go to work so we could make ends meet. The agency will still retaliate and make sure any whistleblowers are destroyed. So many people see America as hot dogs, and apple pies, but this should paint a different picture. The email scandal helped derail Clinton's 2016 presidential bid. Then-candidate Donald Trump made it one of his biggest campaign issues. Hillary Clinton would be accused of everything from extortion to selling uranium to the Russians to benefit the Clinton Foundation. The criminal activity alone would send the average American to life in prison. What do you think will happen to Hillary? Write your answer below and share this information with a friend. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.